The organ has a long and robust history dating all the way back to ancient Greece. Even in ancient Rome, the, Col uh, the organ was used in the Colosseum for music. During the Renaissance and Baroque periods, the organ evolved closer to what we know as the organ today, added more tone colors, they got bigger and bigger, and in the 19th century, the tone colors evolved again to more romantic tastes, and finally what we know as the modern organ emerged. The organ is played much like a piano in the sense that it has keys. There the resemblance ends because this is not a hammer striking a string. It is a wind instrument. So when I open a stop, I'm actually allowing air into the pipes. Similarly, I have a keyboard for my feet that does the similar thing with bigger pipes. So much of the organ is made of wood. That is a traditional construction element. Uh, the pipes are also sometimes made of wood, uh, but mostly are made of metal, usually a combination of lead and tin. Some other pieces that you might have heard are Vidor's Toccata. From the Godfather, from the baptism scene, you might recognize Bach's Classicalia in C minor. And from a more recent film, Maleficent II, you might recognize Bach's Fantasia in G minor. So this is an interesting phenomenon that dates back to silent films. Uh, theater organists would use pieces like the Toccata in D minor, as well as improvising their own spooky things, to illustrate haunted house effects and anything else creepy. Even when movie soundtracks came in, they still used Toccata in D minor, such as in Disney's Fantasia in the 1940s. So because of that use of the Toccata in D minor, really it's that piece, uh, the organ is seen as a spooky instrument.